Hello fluorescent fans, another shortwave LED update. Everything you're seeing right now is being powered by a shortwave LED. Uh, you know, we've got some very, very powerful uh, shortwave LEDs now. And I... Post-production note, I forgot to mention that this was being compared to an 18 watt bulb, but uh, in my own testing, I've compared it to a 35 watt and uh, this LED light was more powerful. And I thought I'd show that off with some uh, Franklin and Sterling minerals. We've got a calcite willemite, hardy snite, clinohedrites, uh, margarosinites, wasinites, um, is this cuspidine? Cuspidine. Yeah, manga axonites. Just a whole bunch of minerals. And uh, yeah, why don't we compare this to uh, what the shortwave bulb looks like? So let me get a little bit closer. Yeah, if you could just pan around a little bit. Yeah, so as you can see, I finally found uh, color-accurate uh, shortwave LEDs, and uh, yeah, now let's move on to uh, some Greenland minerals. I just uh, pulled aside some uh, fantasy rocks. They've got like a good enough, um, good enough, uh, <laughs> what's it called, uh, variety of minerals that, uh, yeah, those of you that enjoy Greenland, you can see how the colors are, and uh, why don't you show the bulb again? Yeah, this is what they look like. And uh, yeah, that concludes our little uh, shortwave LED update.